Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great today. I appreciate those who watch this video. I hope you enjoy it. And today we're talking about A Force of One, a good old Chuck Norris movie. And this is my personal belief. I got a feeling that a lot of you will probably disagree with me. Maybe so, maybe not. Let me know below. But I kind of feel like Chuck Norris is a product of his time. If it wasn't for Bruce Lee, I don't know if Chuck Norris would have been like a big movie star. And I'm really sure how big of a movie star he was back in his heyday. And the reason I say this is because... Um, there's not really very many Chuck Norris movies I even like. I think the best thing about Chuck Norris I like is Walker, Texas Ranger. Um, now I watch uh, many of his shows, and none of them has really been my favorite, or even, I can say, I would want to watch them again. Uh, Force of One is another one of these. Uh, but I think he came out at the right time. You know, Bruce Lee kind of created, like, the big old karate hype of the 1970s. I mean, you got that song, Everybody's Kung Fu Fighting. Uh, karate shows were big in the 70s. And I got a beeping sound. Yeah, it was big in his 70s. And that's when Chuck, uh, Chuck Norris came out. Uh, I believe he would came out like in the 80s and the 90s. You might see Chuck Norris as a B actor. And maybe he is a B actor anyways. I'm just my point of view. Uh, so let's get into A Force of One. And this one, Chuck Norris is a kickboxing champion. And he kind of gets involved with the police. The police are trying to track down some drug dealing that's going on. And somebody is killing police officers who they suspect know some good old karate and is karate chomping them, choking them out. Uh, so they go to Chuck Norris for some help, for some training, and he kind of gets involved for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that he adopted a son whose mother was a drug addict who got on um, heroin or something, some kind of drug. And uh, so he took him in and eventually, like all, oh, it's like a majority of Chuck Norris movies, the people he's close to, he always has this one buddy, this one person he's really close to. And uh, this case is adopted son, he gets killed by these drug dealers, so they kind of get dragged into uh, this uh, investigation for uh, for that as well. Not only is he training these policemen, gets the friends, so some of his friends are dying, his adopted son dies from him as well. Uh, this show does have some good fighting scenes, uh, but one thing that doesn't work that I see in most movies, the only movie I've seen where it proved it, uh, to, um, to pull this off is the Rocky movies, and that is the first person view of the fighting. Uh, there's a few shots where, you know, you're looking through Chuck, through either Chuck Norris' eyes or his opponent's eyes as they're fighting. This doesn't work well. You know, another example that didn't work well was in the Friday, the first Friday the 13th movie where you're in the kill, you're getting the point of view of the killer when he's, when they're killing people. And this movie too, while they're fighting, it just doesn't work the point of view, but it does work in the Rocky. The Rocky movies were able to pull it off very well, uh, but this movie doesn't pull it off as well. And there's other movies that does the first person view and it just doesn't come out right. I don't think it gets the effect that the uh, director wants. That's my opinion. Let me know your opinion about that. But you know, the first person to view of the fighting just doesn't work. Uh, like I said, though, there are some great uh, fighting choreography. Chuck Norris was the one who did, uh, did the choreography. He does excel in that area. Uh, the fights do look realistic. Um, they're very well done. Uh, my favorite fight scene is probably when he fights the guy, the villain, and he pulls out the nunchucks. Um, and it's in, it's in the dark, but it's lit it enough where you can actually see what's going on and the fighting in that. Um, so yeah, so the fighting scenes are really good. Uh, the acting's pretty good as well. It just, uh, I don't know, wasn't really captivated by the story. I think it's the, the, that time period story. Like I said, I did a uh, review of Escape from Aquatrash. So it was kind of slow moving. This movie is kind of slow moving as well. I just think it was the time period. Um, maybe if I was born a little earlier, I would have been used to it. Maybe I liked it a little bit more. Maybe that's why my prejudice are against Chuck Norris's movies. Maybe it was before my time period. Um, but, you know, he does a good job of acting. I mean, he's not like a Cary Grant or anything like that. He holds his own. Just, I don't know. Can't really get behind his movies. Uh, this does got a pretty good moral to it. You know, the drugs. Um, being able to care for others around you. You know, taking in those who are in need. Uh, this is what Chuck Norris does. You know, he adopts a son. He took care of uh, this guy's, uh, this boy's mother when she was trying to help her get off drugs. You got uh, the female lead here. She's kind of in the same shoes. She has uh, this woman that she's trying to take care of, this young lady who's like a teenager, but she's on drugs. She's kind of selling out her body so she can afford the drugs. 
Uh, so you kind of get that storyline in it. Uh, this is another example of a strong female lead. The cop is a woman and she's kind of smarter than her comrades. Uh, she's very smart. She's capable of holding her own up to a certain point. Um, so she is a strong character. Uh, and you kind of get a little insight, I guess. I'm not a cop, but on how they do their investigations. I think that was kind of realistic, very accurate. Um, but, you know, how easy they were wiped out. Maybe not so accurate. Uh, so I'm not going to recommend this. I'll recommend this with caution. If you're a Chuck Norris fan, you're interested in some of his movies, you want to check this out. If you like karate movies, yeah, there's another one. But overall, I wouldn't probably stay away from this. There's better movies you could watch. So I recommend this with caution. Uh, but if you are interested in it, as of time of this video, it is on Amazon Prime. So there's a beeping again. So if you have time, check it out. Have a great day. And I'll uh, watch another review, hopefully. Bye. Bye. Again.